uh, six F-35s from uh, Edwards to test the deployment capability of the F-35. <laughs> uh, we got here in the uh, first week of uh, February. We'll be uh, leaving here on the uh, 2nd of uh, March uh, with the teardown here on the, uh, the 4th. So plan for uh, 12 fly days uh, with uh, approximately 54 or so. So we actually did site visits uh, to several uh, bases. The main reason that we chose uh, Mountain Home when, when we finally did our site visit uh, here was for the uh, large uh, airspace, the number of uh, air threats and uh, surface threats that the uh, range uh, squadron here can provide for us. So it gave us a great opportunity to integrate with uh, two fighters, the Strike Eagle and the A-10, uh, and as well as provide some really great uh, robust scenarios for us to bring out the F-35's capabilities. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was a former Strike Eagle pilot. Uh, wasn't stationed out here at Mountain Home, but I was stationed out at uh, Seymour and Lake Anik beforehand. Um, so with the uh, Strike Eagle, it's a very heavily armed, very fight your way in, fight your way out kind of kind of uh, aircraft. Whereas with the F-35, it's very reliant on uh, stealth capability. So the stealth uh, uh, works uh, very, very well. Uh, so basically sneaking up on a, a target before he knows you're there, remove that threat, which then, oh by the way, um, creates the hole for the other uh, aircraft to uh, punch through. And then, um, and then look to uh, basically quarterback uh, our previous uh, aircraft uh, from there. Mm -hmm. So as far as getting to our uh, tactical speed, it's actually very uh, similar in terms of giving uh, energy uh, to our uh, weapons. Um, as far as the uh, red line, like max uh, speed, it's actually a little bit uh, less than the uh, Strike Eagles. Uh, it's actually very similar to previous airplanes, so about that 130, 150 uh, uh, miles per hour. So. So the main, uh, is the main goal of this uh, test is to bring out any issues related to our logistics, our facilities, uh, requirements, our ability to plan, execute, and debrief uh, sorties from a deployed uh, location. So what uh, I've been telling my team here is it's better for us to put in the long hours now, bring out these issues and sort things out here. Much better us here on a test mission than our friends over at Hill on their first combat mission. So overall, uh, the uh, aircrafts have actually been doing uh, relatively well in the uh, in our uh, test missions here. So we've had some great integration uh, opportunities. We've had a lot of uh, good weapons drops uh, as well. So it's really been a big mentality shift uh, for us. So as opposed to when we bring everybody in from an F-15 or an F-16 or an A-10, you know, and sure enough, you try to fly it like your old airplane and it doesn't turn out very well. But when you start blending all three of those communities together and actually start thinking of new ways to enable a, a package of jets to get it through a, a heavily contested target area, it's actually starting to turn out pretty well. Absolutely, you know, the A-10 is a phenomenal uh, aircraft and the F-35 is also a great aircraft that brings different capabilities uh, to the fight. So uh, we as operational testers are looking to um, basically test the F-35 out as thoroughly as uh, possible, make it as lethal as possible across um, as many different mission sets as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. been a lot of lessons learned uh, that we've had um, here on, the, uh, on this uh, deployment test, which um, you know, from a project manager perspective, uh, as I orchestrate this test, I'm actually been ecstatic about. Like, I would have been really worried if it went perfectly smooth. Uh, so that, I'm actually really happy with how things have been gotten. Lots of uh, lessons learned, a lot of issues um, that we have uh, worked through uh, quickly, and everything that has popped up, you know, we're immediately on the phone with uh, Lockheed Martin and the Joint Program Office out in uh, Crystal City, getting those issues uh, worked out, updating our tech data so that we don't have to repeat any uh, lessons learned on future deployments. Uh, I want to say thanks uh, to the 366 uh, Fighter Wing uh, out here and some outstanding uh, support. Uh, they've been out here working the long hours right with us, uh, the Communication Squadron, the Civil Engineering Squadron uh, specifically. Uh, we've absolutely uh, been thrilled to fly with the 389th and, uh, and the 190th uh, Fighter Squadron, so I just want to say thanks uh, to everybody at Mountain Home and Boise for that.